Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today in this important video lecture, I will guide you bar bending schedule basics formula. So therefore watch this video till the end to learn something new about bar bending schedule basics formulas. So let's get started. If this video is helpful for you, so you may like this video. Guys, first of all, I will guide you diameters of bars in millimeter. So we have different steel diameters. So let's get started. The first one is 6 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter. So we don't have 11 millimeter or 13. So it means so we have the given diameters in millimeter. So 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, 25, 28, 32, 36 and 40 millimeter steel rods are using in the construction of building. So this is the first basic. Okay. The second one is for these steel dias. The, length, the standard length of steel rod is from factory. That is, the standard length of reinforcement bar is 12 meter or 40 feet. So, each length is 40 feet or 12 meter. Okay. So, this is standard. The third one is guide uh, weight of bar in kg. So, per meter formula is d square divided by 162. So, where d is die of steel rod. For example, guys, you can see this is steel rod and this is its dia okay so for example this dia is 12 mm so how you will find its weight so you will use the given formula here this one where d is die of steel rod so where d multiply d so d square divided by 162 when you do calculation for this so you will get the video 0 0.8 8 kg per meter so if this is 2 meters so multiply with 2 3 5 12 etc okay so this is the formula to find weight of steel rod for different diameters now extension length formulas especially in bar bending schedule okay so for the footing lap length formula is foot ed this is lap length formula as I discussed in many videos, what is lapping length, how to provide lapping length, where we can provide lapping length. So the standard formula for footing lapping is foot ED, where D is dia of steel rod, as I discussed before. So this is dia of steel rod, maybe 12 mm, maybe 16, etc. Anything. So that should be the dia of steel rod. The second one is column lap length formula. So why these are important? Because in bar bending schedule, we are, find, uh, we are finding the total weight and length, different shapes, etc. So therefore, these formulas should be remembered to find uh, or to making bar bending schedule for any project. Okay. So the column lap length formula is 50D, where D is again die of steel rod for column. Right. The next one is development length for double bar, which is 16D. Okay, development length for double bar. So at the bottom we are using, especially you can say it's uh, these are legs for the column. Okay. The last one is here in extension length formulas that is hook length. So the hook length is here. Let me discuss it in detail. So guys, you can see this is column. Uh, sorry, uh, this is beam. Inside the beam we are using stirrups. Okay. So the stirrups is same like this. Okay. So this is called hook. So the hook length should be with here guys you can see 90 90 where d is die of steel rod which is the dia for stirrup for example if you are using 8 mm so 8 mm means 9 multiply 8 then you will get the length of hooks but uh, if you are not using the 90 formula so in that case the hooks length should be minimum 3 inches. Remember this thing for hooks. This one. Right? Now guys, concrete cover for different RCC structures. The first one is footing. So the footing cover should be concrete cover or clear cover you can say. That should be 75 mm or you can say 3 inches. For the column and beam, it should be 25 to 50 mm. Means from 2 inches to 4 inches you can take concrete cover so this is the other thing especially in concrete cover now guys come to the band deduction so especially band deductions are very important during a bent up bar crank bar etc 
for different shapes we are uh, on 45 degree 90 degree 135 degree we are bend the bar so therefore we should deduct especially like this guys you can see here this is 90 degree and here you can see here this is 135 degree so the deduction of steel rod uh, bend deduction we can use the formula for 45d so we are we will deduct 1d where 1 is dia of steel rod okay for example if this is 8 mm if you are using 8 mm so in the case of 8 mm you will get the value 1 multiply 8 it means 8 mm should be deduct okay so therefore the next one is uh, so this is for 45d sorry 45 means uh, especially in crank bar like this guys you can see the bend deduction like this okay so this is here 45d okay so for 90d it should be 2d where 2 multiply for example if you are using 12 mm so multiply with 12 you will get the value 24 millimeters so this this should be the deduction of bend for 90 degree so now come to the 135 degree so for 135 degree the deduction formula should be 3d where 3 multiply if the diameter is 16 mm so 3 multiply 16 then you will get the value of this like 48 mm guys this is very important so the deduction should be provided uh, during a bar bending schedule for steel rods okay so guys you can see this is uh, uh, hooks are bent on 135 degrees so in this case you will deduct 45 mm for each side so you can use 3d okay so the last one is guys crank length formula how to find the crank length formula so it can be extend okay so in that case uh, for 45d as i told you before you can say uh, for example this is a beam so let me erase these okay so in this case guys this is beam okay so inside the beam we make crank bar or bent up bar same like this so guys sometimes we bend the crank bar with uh, uh, 45 degree okay sometime on 90 degree sometime on 60 degree so it should be extend or uh, uh, it should be take or this length guys you can see this one okay so how much it will be increased during uh, crank bar or bent up bar in this case okay so for 45d here guys you can see this is bent with 45 degree so in 45 degree you will take 0.42d but the d is not die of steel rod remember this thing okay where d is depth okay so depth you can take here from here you will get the depth so suppose this is the depth of beam okay so you will detect the concrete cover from the top and also from the bottom okay then you will get also you will subtract or uh, minus this uh, die of steel rod then you will get this d okay so d multiply 0.42 so it should be uh, it will give you the length the crank length this is very important okay for 45d for 90d 0.27d for 60d 0.58d for example if we bend the bar with uh, 60 degree like this okay again like this so in that case the formula should be to get this length okay so it should be extend not for example if the length of this steel rod is uh, for example a uh, nine meters okay so with nine meter we will plus this uh, length which we can get from this formula especially for 60d so we are 0.5d 0.58d where d is depth of this for example i am using an a slab suppose this is a slab okay so this is beam as i told you before and this is slab okay so in the slab for example this is 125 mm suppose this is 125 mm so in this case you will detect the uh, concrete cover from the top and also from the bottom then you will get this depth but also the uh, the die of steel should be deducted also from this then you will get the depth so that depth multiply 0.58 uh, then you will get the crank length from the given formulas which i have discussed the front of you so hopefully this video can help you so if you have any question about this video so you can comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video